Welcome to the greatest news analysis show in the universe. I'm here today joined by my friend Tac Talks over happy. here. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bro, nice to see you, seriously. Lovely to see you too. Nice Love to see you. Today. Sun shining. <sighs> How you been? How you been? You alright? Good, been out. Been out 8 out, 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10? It's a good one. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's a good day, it's a good day. What's going on in the world today, Beth? Talk to me, talk to me, Beth. <laughs> uh, the government are changing, so when you vote, you have to have photo ID. Photo ID to, so to vote? It's basically like um, voter suppression because the majority of. So I think it's like 40% of people of colour don't have like yeah. photo ID. That's nuts. Oi. Oi, wait, hold up. So, so wait, yes. So, so you can't vote without an ID, basically? Yeah, basically. Um, Matt Hancock said that there were six people, six too, many, six too many voting, like, six too many, too many cases of voting fraud, even yeah. there's only six, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they've had to change the whole thing. What, too many cases of voting fraud, but there's only six, six out of... Only six of them. So, yeah, that's a motive, there's another motive behind that. That you know is. I mean? I'd like to know the statistics of people that, um, that, that do vote, that don't have any retro ID. Mm. If it's enough, will it, like... Weave our devotes anyway. Is this a bad? Is this a bad thing though? Is this a bad thing? It can be a bad thing. One hundred twenty percent. Um, again, it depends on how many. If say if there's only five percent of people that vote that actually actually have ID, then the the the, the change would be like minuscule. It'd be literally nothing. But say if it's like forty percent of people that's vote, right. and if it's a certain ethnic background, a certain culture. That's really gonna put a change into who's um, elected person. Well, now you know, people. Get your ID sorted. That's a tough one. Fake <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, one if you have to, man. <laughs> <laughs> what, what else have we got going on, Beth? Could you tell us about a bit what's going on in Palestine? Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. So what's going on? In, you heard of what's going on in Palestine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello, everyone. My brother. My brother. My brother. So tell me a little bit about what's going on in Palestine because I've seen I've seen a lot of going on about it on social media. But I don't I don't have much knowledge about it. So if you could explain to us and the people that obviously don't know about it, that would be amazing. In Palestine, it's been an ongoing conflict between the Israelis and. Palestinians. The conflicts have been going on for over 73 years, but the media doesn't show what's going on. They always support in Israel, yeah. who have a large military, nuclear bombs, um, and what they're doing is called ethnically cleansing. Okay. So the way Britain invaded America and ethnically cleansed every single Native American yeah. and butchered them, that's what Israelis are doing to them. I. It's not about religion, because mm. Israel was created 73 years ago, because um, they had no home. They had no home, and it was Britain who came to give them that home. It's been going on for 73 years, 7.3 million people have been displaced, over 540 homes have been destroyed. Wow. Um, people are being killed and bombed every day. I'm a force for that one, for real. Thank you, Mohammed. Am I off to go? Or? No, you're good to go, thank you. Good, man. No, brother. Yeah, Just honestly, big up, big up, big up. And that's brave, dude, that's wrong. Well, it is, okay, it is. Then, it's crazy yeah. brave. But I think it's, like, it's, it's just... It, He's showing his passion yeah. and how you, much you he wants to talk about. You hear the passion in his voice, exactly. man. Like even like again, some people don't like going to go into politics and stuff like that, but you didn't seem didn't seem fearful to say, listen, it should be Britain's um, responsibility. Britain took the um, migrant them to um, Palestine. Yeah. Britain does um arm the people of Israel. So yeah, I, I liked how he had this passion behind it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He knew what he was talking about, he knew he was heavily researched it, so yeah. What's going on? What's going on? Tell talk to me, Beth. Uh, the recent so news about Dogecoin. Dogecoin. Have you heard about this? Dogecoin. Crypto and shit like that. Have you? Yeah, I keep. I, 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 I keep hearing about this. Thing is, what? like, yeah, go on, go on. I, I, The thing is, I keep hearing about this crypto shit, and people will t keep telling me, "Oh, hey, you need to invest in this. You need to do this." So every day, there's someone new telling me, "Oh, Sam, you gotta invest in it. Put at least hundred pounds in it. Mm. Do this. Mm. Invest in it. Do this." What? Like, what's going on? It's getting to the point where I'm like, I might as well do it. Yeah, you, you, one you're asking the wrong person. I don't know. <laughs> I can tell you to invest in stuff. Yeah. You lose all your money in two days. <laughs> That's what I mean. um, I've been a bit concerned. Yeah. The, the thing is, like, I, again, I do hear that. I do hear that constantly. People say you need to invest in this yeah. cryptocurrency or this coin or something yeah. like that. And the thing is, like, again, some people do win. Like, some people invest in. I, I don't even know about investment suits. Yeah. They invest a certain amount into to this new coin, and about two weeks later, or two even a week later, it goes up by two hundred percent. And like, I didn't. You, you do get the wins, 
but you do get them losses where you're like, okay, I'm investing this year, this team looks like it's gonna pop, that goes down by 200%, and now you just lost all your bread. Mm -hmm. So it seems like it's like it's inconsistent and it's way too fickle the market in terms of cryptocurrency. So I like I like security, you know. I don't I like to things that are tangible. So and that it's a bit difficult. So Jay, cryptocurrency is like a digital currency. Like, do you know you got a bit of knowledge about that? I'm assuming it's it's some sort of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a digital currency. Yeah. And um, its worth fluctuates over time depending on kind of hype about it. I hate you. So I hate you. It's really a gamble whether you want to put your it's money down. Job. It's a gamble. It's a gamble. It's a gamble. It's like some people know what they're doing. Like, so that's like the Wolf of Wall Street. That's what I say. Yeah, brother. Like, yeah. That, yeah. That, um, that, when they say like the. Um, all the same with Wall Street, they, they, when they have that kind of that scene, and you're saying that uh, the stock market goes up and down. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, yeah. It's all for gays or for Ghazi, whatever he says. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I see sometimes in that. If, I, if it's actually in a company, the thing is, you, sometimes a coin um, has like has something that's specific to a co um, company. For example, yeah. if you had Disney to have a coin specific to Disney. Now, if I had something like that, which I can actually attach, kind of my. My judgment on, for example, I know that comp this company's on the way up, or this company's going to be very, um, it's going to be utilised very well in the future. Then I'll be able to invest in something like that. Yeah. But when it comes to you just saying, "Here's a coin, please invest in me," Fuck there's that. no way, shape, or form. Fuck that. It, it's way too fickle. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not, it's not. But I'm definitely dropping some hundred pound on Saturday. Hundred pound, like the, Saturday. I'm a little like young hundred pound. Just, just you can never know. I could be a, a million by next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, that's how. That's what's mad about. Yeah, yeah. someone did flip that. Yeah. I'm, I'm investing two pound fifty in my next one, man. Shit. Two pound. What? <laughs> <laughs> Three pound fifty, maybe. You know that's what I mean? Nuts. That's, that's nuts. That's nuts. Hey, you come here real quick. Open my phone because I can't open it with this thing. Uh, it's two 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 zero two zero 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 two zero 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 two zero 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 two thousand. Yeah, go go on uh, in my gallery. That's it, and then go. Yeah, that one. I actually, show T that one. Look at this, bro. I feel like. Amazon had taken over the world. Amazon, Amazon, Amazon completely taken over the world. I don't, I don't know if you heard about this, but read it out. Uh, Jeff Bezos also bought a 500 million dollar yacht. Joe, I saw that. I saw that. What, 500 million dollar yacht? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That's mad. That's unfathomable money. That's, that's just. <laughs> so, 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 so yeah. <laughs> Normal people just like getting new cars and shit. My man got 500. <laughs> um, so, 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 why go with that then? So, they basically, they they're doing a collaboration, collaboration with Morrison, yeah? Yeah. But what does that mean then? That's the, they're going to take over. The thing is, like, they, 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 they do do a lot of stuff as well. They do all sorts. Everything. Everything you think of as well. Everything they're doing. Like, even um, someone, someone said that Amazon's making a store in which, like, it's like you don't have to have no one to one yeah. um, interaction. You can you walk, in walk in there, yeah. take your pack of crisps, and walk up like you're stealing. <laughs> two G's now on your online bank, it says, like, um, negative yeah. 50p. Yeah, so yeah. Like that. And that, that, that's, I think that's a good adventure. That's a good adventure. I like that adventure. That, is, that, that just feels weird, bruv. I do. It does feel weird having everything under the same umbrella in terms of who's controlling it. Brother, I want to see Charlie and Sharon behind the trolley. <laughs> you want to chat? Yeah. Chat. I want to chat to them and say how the day was. Nah, two on a chair. Brother. <laughs> them ladies I don't want to walk in there. Talk, nah. I don't want to walk in there and uh, get the, the, the little rover that says to you, oh, thank you for shopping at Amazon. That's, like, uh, nah, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. nuts. Nah, I want to see yeah, Shirley. I, I do see what you mean. I want to yeah, see I'm Paul right. down the corner as well. Bro, I want to chat to my mm, people. Yeah, yeah, that. It's, it's, you know, I mean, I want to keep it chill. I um, do see what you mean, what I'm saying. Like, not having that interaction can fuck us up later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like two twos now. We actually do say hello to somebody. Yeah. We're all nervous and stuttering and shit. Yeah. Can we usually speak into the robot? It's just becoming more. The world is slowly becoming more antisocial for things like that. One hundred twenty percent. Yeah. One hundred twenty percent. Thing is, it's like, carry on. Yeah. It's just fucking up. It's just fucking up. Um, the thing is, like, what we're saying about being antisocial is like, um. It's even things like you ordering food online, like yeah, no, yeah, you ordering food. Like some people would prefer to just do it on the phone, in which they can say, okay, I want my pizza with these toppings, yeah, yeah. Instead of actually calling someone, because some people have the social anxiety to even have a conversation like on that the phone. to have that interaction. Yeah, now it's coming yeah. more and more and more. Of course, things are just more like, like easy accessible now. Things are just convenient now. Yeah, but conveniency has a side effect of you not being interacting with nobody. Exactly, that can fuck us up. Big exactly, one hundred ten percent. There's one thing I. I want to chat to you about. I don't know if you watch Blue Therapy. Uh, Blue Therapy. Blue Therapy. Blue Therapy. Never heard in my life. You never haven't watched it. Blue Therapy. It was a, a show. Yeah. Um, how do I explain it? 
Um, I want them Jaffa cakes bad. It, it was it was two couples, for two. example. Yeah. No, actually, there was four couples that went on this sort of therapy. A yeah. fairy couple. Fairy couple. Oh, yeah, have you, have yeah, you yeah. watched it? No, I said a little bit. Of it. Oh my god! I said I said, I said, I said, I said one. Yeah, man was like, it was like, what do you bring to the table? She was like, what do you mean? That's really. He was like, did I stutter? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was he's, lit. He's cold as ice. That he's was cold as ice. He was cold. The, the thing, thing is, is Karen, no, no. The thing is, in that situation, yeah, he knew that the girl he got with um, was materialistic from the get-go. Yeah, he knew that she was all that from the get-go. I don't know why he's now that he's in a relationship complaining about. What he got, you know what I mean? He read through the CV at the start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he read through the thing. He read through the thing, and he was and he now complaining. Yo, this girl want too much. Mm. Uh, I want to buy a house. I want to do this. Mm. And he's, what's going on? Thing is, I think all well, everyone does that. Everyone does that. Everyone has like the yeah, yeah, the honeymoon phase in which you show them the most desirable characteristics that you can show. Like you yeah. give them anything. You. You pay for this, you kind of give them the, like these treats in these ways and these yeah. ways. And the thing is, like, all them things they do slow down yeah. when you go past the honeymoon phase. And other aspects what you're that you're looking for that you undermined because at the time you kind of just pushed aside because you thought like this is great. I'm actually having a lot. This is very not yeah. very important. Yeah, this yeah, yeah. is. Um, I'm having a good time with this person, I'm getting to know this person, this person's treating me very well. All your emotions are high at that point, so you completely undermine the other aspects that you don't have. It's only until you settle down and like kinda the the kinda the the storm or like the the waves of the kinda sea settle down and now it's just still. Yeah. Now you start to notice that there's little wrinkles around, there's little problems around yeah. and you want to kinda change a person. That's the issue with it, I think. Mm. That's a long winded analogy, but that's, that's the issue right. I see in it. But yeah. in terms of him, like him saying what you bring to the table is like you, you picked that. It, it all that. All that shit. It, it like, wasn't a bad question. Huh? It wasn't a bad question. No, no, no. I don't think it's a bad question at all. I feel like him using it in that way because I, I haven't watched the whole thing. But you need to watch she, the she got asked, he asked her, she asked him a question and he asked her a question with a question, which I feel like is bad in terms of communication. Mm, mm, mm. If you feel like she has to bring something to the table, make it very clear what you want in the table. You can't just read someone's mind. Mm. What I'm going to say, what do you bring to the table then? I'm not going to list everything I bring to the table. Mm. Say, I would like you to bring to the bring this to the table, and I feel like you don't do that, so why don't you do that? Yeah. That's yeah. a far better question than what do you bring to the table. Do you know what I mean? I tell you, there's, there's something about you, bruv, that you can talk your way to heaven. What do, what do you mean? Say that, bruv. You can talk, you can nah. sweet talk, gal. Nah, your nah, way nah, to heaven. Nah, nah bruv. You're the daddy, man. Nah, you're that brother, you know. What I do think is just like, when you say stuff like talk your way out of situations, I just feel like loads, when I was younger, people used to say, ah, oh, when I was younger, I used to think, I wish I could speak all languages. Mm. Yeah? Mm. Now, if I can speak, if I can word my things properly so you can digest it right, yeah. and no matter what your background, your culture, like your intellect, anything like that, then I can speak all languages. I hate Do you know what I mean? I not, hate not all languages. I, hate, I, mean, I, don't, I, I, can't, I can't, speak, can't speak Mandarin, but I can speak to someone. I can speak to Jim from down the road. That's like, that's a little hood. Mm. Or I can speak to Samuel from Chelsea. That's like been up, been brought up in like yeah. a little class. Yeah, family. yeah, yeah, yeah. And being able to do that, it's like that's that's but, what I try. But you to can do. speak to Jamal from the hood as well. Yeah. Do you know what, what I mean? Like, yeah. try yeah. to push it up. Do you know what I mean? Make sure you're. What you're, what you're saying is clear. I hate, I hate, that's the main thing, isn't it? I, hate, I respect that. I respect that. Safe for that. Safe, yeah. safe for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about sweets going to get on like that. No, no, no. That, 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 I'm chugging. No, no, no. Don't stop, You know what I'm talking nah, about. Nah, nah, nah. I, just say, I say you are high as on your vibes, man. Shit. You say, you might say you look pretty. That's the most I get to <laughs> Oh, brother. It's mad. Um, same, same with you, though. Like, 100%. Like, you. Every time I see you, you can chat, you can chat, and the thing is, you ask, you ask very important questions. You ask questions that invite thought. Do you know what I mean? Like hey. you ask questions about something that's been in your head that you've been like ruminating. Then you think, okay, yeah. cool, I'm gonna ask him right now. Don't know if it's gonna be, if it's gonna sound right. Don't know if the it's gonna is, thing you like that. But you, you will ask. You're not afraid of doing that. The thing is, it, it depends the individual. I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna go up to anyone. A any individual and ask those type of wild, random questions. Like I would, I would go up to you because I know I'm gonna get the answer from you. I know I'm gonna get that proper, articulate answer from you. I know, I know I could. I, I, I know I could. But it, it doesn't apply to everyone. I, I couldn't go to anyone else in the, on a bio of breath. So and ask him a random question about anything. Mm. I mean, so I respect it, man. You're doing no, your no, thing. No, I love to talk. Tech talks. Tech talks. You know. <laughs> Seriously, seriously, seriously. What else have we got going on? Do you reckon? There's a woman, a pregnant woman. 
basically a subscriber offered her ten thousand pounds to live stream her birth. Live stream a bit. Actually, oh, oh, yes. yeah, oh, only fans. He was an only fans. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, talk to me about this thing. <laughs> what do I think about her? Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I the dignity left the coop chat. I got. I got. I got to think about the answer to that one. The dignity. It's a difficult one. One hundred percent. It is a difficult one, but. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful ceremony. Childbirth. Do you know what I mean? It's a magical. It's a magical thing. What? Only fans. And that's what I mean. Does it, does it boil down to only fans? This is a, the most sacred moment in your life. The most sacred moment in your life yeah. when you was born. The most sacred moment in a woman's life is when she gives she birth gives to a child. Exactly, yeah. See the child for the first time. It's her fourth child. Though. Fourth child. Fourth child. I, I guess it's less sacred now. Yeah. I guess it's watered down a bit. But I really have an opinion on her. She can do what she wants. I just feel like, in my opinion, I think such an important and sacred moment, I would want it to be personalised and just kind of not out to the public and not just I wouldn't want to say the most important moment in my life cost nine ninety nine. Mm. And that's what I feel like she'd possibly done with that. Yeah. But she could do that. If she thinks like that's cool, that's nine ninety nine. Do you she will probably accumulate a lot of money from it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, with all the people that's that's joining her, but it's a difficult one. I hate anything's a bag these days, anything's a hustle. Any anything Do you any, know what I mean? Yeah, everything is I feel like people I don't know tend to talk too much nowadays when they see someone doing something random like that tend to just throw their opinions out there when they, when they see doing a gal doing OnlyFans for example yeah. oh no brother Jesus. I, me- I remember you said a yeah. um, story in it <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I said clear away from that what shit. What was man. the question I again? Said clear away from only fan questions. What that. was the question again? Ah, uh, the question was. Like, actually, would you let your girl do for any fan? Something like that. No, no. It was the question was. Covid hit, for example. Yeah. You've been with your with your girl for a number of years. Yeah. Two, three plus years. You feel you feel like you're at a point where you're thinking of engaging. Yeah. You're thinking of like marriage and shit like that, kids, and she's the one that you go to your boys and say, "Oh, your brother, yeah. see that girl right there? She's the one, my brother. She's the one." Yeah, yeah. That. But COVID hit. You you lost your job. She lost her job. Flat in the face. It's flat in the flat face. In the it's, face. It's, it's, it's 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 peak. And the, the only option is only fans. Are you gonna back out or are you gonna take it? First of all, the only option isn't only only fans. Okay. Do you know what I mean? There's plenty of options. I, Do you know what I mean? I, like, but, but hypothetically speaking, hypothetically speaking, the only option that she has is her to do it only fans. Ah, uh, don't have an answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> there's, some, there's some questions you answer, and there's some questions you don't. Do you know what I mean? That's what I think. People don't give energy to the right thing nowadays. What's the right thing, though? That's the, that's the question. Yeah, that's the question. Is the right thing just your own struggle? I feel like, for example, was what's happening in Palestine. It's just, I feel like people should give even more energy to that. One hundred percent. I just hope that people should. To, uh, I, yeah, like like the guy said, which only the only thing we've got is to, is to pray really yeah. and truly. There's nothing much we could do about it. Um, I do think I hope it just remains consistent. Usually, when people have like a time where they feel like something needs to be heard or something needs to be changed, it needs to be uprising. Something's not right. They um they have a lot of energy in the start, but the, that snowball effect slowly like drains out, and the consistency doesn't last long enough for it to catch That's wind. True. That's true. It just becomes another thing. Something else replaces it. Yeah. Um, which I think is an issue. That's mad. That's mad. But T, to Kwan, yeah. Mr. Tak talks. Yeah. Big appreciation to you for nah, coming, nah, nah. coming through. That. I do that but before I do that, definitely hold, of your thing. Hold okay. my mic. Hold my mic real quick there. I need to go and fight. Man, I need to go and fight. Um, I need to go and battle. Brother, I'll see you in a minute. I'm, I'm going to Palestine to fight them people there. My people subscribe to the team. Thank you very so much for having me. My name is Saquon, Tac Talks. Go on my page, please. I was on Instagram, um, at Tac Talks. Um, have a good day.